This is Philly Drone Tech with Tom Brunt. Sponsorship provided by AWeber.com, GetFlywheel.com, and Wistia.com. Hello there, folks. Welcome to uh, another episode of Philly Drone Tech here on the phillytech.org netcast network. I'm Tom Brunt, and I want to be the first to wish you a happy 2015. Was it the year of, is it going to be the year of the drone? Well, um, I saw all sorts of reports that uh, quadcopters were very popular gifts under the Christmas tree this year. Uh, so much so that the FAA partnered with a couple of other uh, hobbyist organizations have come up with a, uh, a public service uh, campaign on how to fly safely. I'll get into that a little bit later. But first, let me want to ask you, did you get a quadcopter for Christmas? Do you still have it? Is it in one piece? Uh, I, I do ask that because uh, we've all been there. In fact, uh, I managed to do this to my DJI Phantom last summer in my backyard. Uh, after buying some uh, new parts and spending a little bit of time, I managed to put Humpty D back together again, which is uh, hence why I, I call him that in the first place. Um, so, uh, actually, I'd love to hear from you if you did get a quadcopter for, uh, for over uh, the holidays and uh, what you think about it. And uh, you can also feel free to ask, uh, ask me for advice and tips and, and all that, too. Uh, you can contact me at, on my Twitter account at DroneGuyTom. Uh, you see that at the corner of the screen. Um, or, like, wherever you're watching me, feel free to leave a comment if it's on YouTube or phillytech.org. Uh, and I'll be sure to uh, find those and read those. Um, okay, another thing I want to tell you about is that it was brought to my attention that I am also available on an audio-only podcast network. Um, so if you are listening to me and not watching me, uh, I will tell you that this is a rather uh, this is meant to be a visual medium. Uh, I do a lot of like demos and and show uh, websites and things of that nature so you really get a lot out of it although you have to look at my face uh, if you do watch it on uh, video so you can simply go to phillytech.org and you'll be able to find the uh, the podcast in uh, true video form okay let's uh, let's get started now with the FAA um, I read in the Washington Post yet another deadline uh, it seems every time I look there's somebody reporting a different deadline uh, well 2014 just ended so obviously they don't have anything in place yet uh, their next deadline is for September of 2015 uh, they've been mandated by Congress to come up with rules for UAS uh, unmanned aircraft systems um, latest report I heard uh, is from the Washington Post that says that they not only will miss that deadline, uh, they are so far behind, but uh, you may not be able to expect any ruling on them till 2017 at the earliest. Uh, that's quite a long ways away and that's frustrating as all get out to those that are wishing to do this commercially and um, you know wishing to get this market um, pardon the pun taking off um, so if you've been following along in my previous shows um, what I've reported on the FAA is this 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 and now this so at this point I really I don't know what to believe as far as what's happening other than that they are really far behind and they are really uh, pretty far off base in what they're uh, what they're asking uh, for um, asking for a full pilot's license for uh, a 10 pound aircraft is just ridiculous um, I guess the only hope that we may have for pushing this sooner is if the White House is able to get involved um, they're looking at it as far as the potential economics and the commerce that will open up with uh, allowing drone research, allowing drone use, 
Um, in fact, Amazon has even, uh, you know, they posted their frustrations with the FAA saying that they're considering taking their drone research uh, for their prime air uh, overseas if the FAA can't get it together. Um, look for others to want to do that too. They're, they're frustrated and tired of waiting on what the FAA, you know, comes up with. Um, meanwhile, people are, are going to be doing it anyway, kind of under the radar. Um, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, that'll bring me to my uh, next story, uh, where there was an organization called UAS America. Uh, they are proposing, uh, they have sent a formal petition to the FAA um, looking for different regulations for what they call micro drones, micro quad counters. Um, they're using uh, anything that weighs less than three pounds. Because right now, and the way the FAA is considering the ruling, it's an uh, aircraft that weighs up to 55 pounds, meaning this little guy here falls under the same uh, ruling as a 55 pound uh, multi rotor. Um, that's kind of crazy. So they are proposing uh, that different rules be set in place uh, for these micro copters. I wish personally they'd go a little higher than three pounds. Three pounds doesn't get you a craft where that can even do aerial photography um, professionally. Uh, I'd like to see them go up to 10 pounds. I mean, my Phantom with the camera outfit is like three and a half pounds. So that pushed me just over that limit. I think they're limiting it too much by doing three pounds or less. Um, three pounds or less will certainly handle the hobbyists and, and some other uh, automated uh, drone technology that's coming out there. But uh, it would be great if they did like a five or less or even 10 pounds or less. Because let's face it, I mean, once you get more than 10 pounds, you're getting into a different class of aircraft, basically. So uh, we'll see what happens there with, uh, with this petition. And I'll keep you informed as, uh, as, as things go along with that. So uh, let me uh, take a quick little sponsor break and then I'll come back and we'll talk a little bit about uh, your uh, uh, new quadcopters and how to fly and tips like that. Today's show is sponsored by Wistia. Wistia is a video hosting and analytics platform that helps businesses get the most out of online video. We use Wistia here at phillytech.org. Flywheel, a managed WordPress hosting platform built specifically for designers and creative agencies and helps thousands of designers across the world launch projects every day. Aweber is local to the Philly region, helping entrepreneurs, agencies, and small businesses connect with their customers through email marketing. Go to aweber.com slash phillytech to find out more. And by Soho Mail professional, low-cost email with business class features and security. Okay, welcome back. And uh, let's talk about your new present that you, uh, you got this year, especially if you are, if you are a new, uh, new uh, now quadcopter enthusiast. Um, during the Christmas holidays, what I, uh, I tweeted on my, uh, my Twitter account, Drone Guy Tom, uh, a little saying I came up with, uh, fly it low, fly it slow. Uh, that's probably the best bit of advice that I could give to somebody starting out. And believe me, I've been there. And I've, 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 I saw a couple friends too uh, that, that got the, their quadcopter for Christmas. And the first thing you want to do is you really just want to, you, you want to fly it. Uh, you really want to see how high it can go and all that. But uh, however, realistically, if you've never flown one before, uh, get take a lot of time to get used to the controls um, you know they they all fly differently um, in fact I kind of like uh, came across this I kind of came across my uh, hobby a little bit more in the reverse I started with a bigger craft uh, the Phantom that's all GPS controlled and it's really easy to fly and the controls are really nice and fluid and then uh, several months later I started getting into the little guys and they fly completely differently. Uh, well, not completely differently, but uh, they don't fly like a Phantom. So uh, I had a little trouble of learning curve uh, getting used to these guys here. Um, and again, I, I needed to heed my own advice, fly it low, fly it slow. Um, in fact, that it, uh, it seems that uh, quadcopters were um, 
uh, slated to be a popular enough gift this year that the FAA, uh, in, in cooperation with some other organizations, uh, have come up with a, uh, a campaign called uh, knowbeforeyoufly.org. Uh, um, they, they have uh, partnered with uh, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International, the Academy of Model Aeronautics, and the Small UAV Coalition. Uh, to educate the, the now uh, new public on how to fly a quadcopter safely and legally. Uh, I think it's actually a pretty good start. Uh, it's a little bit of a kitschy uh, video, um, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised that uh, the FAA, of course, you know, this, this was probably spearheaded by the other organizations and the FAA is, is uh, partnering with it uh, to actually get this done rather quickly. Because uh, they needed to do that this year, because this is the year, as, as I point out, the year of the drone, 2015. Uh, this time last year, they weren't even on the radar, and now this year, they're becoming a popular uh, Christmas gift. So it was uh, definitely necessary for them to do this um, this site. So uh, again, for uh, more info on flying your new uh, your new toy. Uh, go to knowbeforeyoufly.org. Okay, so um, I've been flying, you know, for now that I've been flying for a year now, and I've learned uh, a lot in a year. Um, I've, I've made several uh, videos uh, on, on the hobbyist uh, level, and I also uh, kind of volunteer my services for my community too. So I made this video for my, this is my uh, a flyover of some of the uh, great sights of my own little proud town, uh, Doylestown, Pennsylvania. Uh, if you're not from the Philly area, we're, uh, we're just, uh, you know, north of Philadelphia. Um, and I wanted to uh, show that to you. This was shot with uh, my uh, Phantom 1 uh, GoPro Hero 3 at 1080, uh, 1080p and the uh, Taro uh, 2D gimbal um, uh, for stabilized video. I have uh, one more treat uh, for you. Uh, Mashable, uh, since we are in the new year now, Mashable have come up with a list of what they feel are the 19 best drone photos of 2014. Uh, now this is uh, based internationally and uh, Philly area should be quite proud because we have not one but two photos on the list. And uh, here they are here. here this is a, uh, a military uh, funeral uh, is one. And another one is uh, this wedding both uh, shot uh, with quadcopters in uh, the Philadelphia region. And this is, uh, this is part of a list that features uh, uh, pictures from uh, all over the world. So it's uh, quite a good thing that uh, the Philly area uh, got uh, two, two photos on this list. So, and I put the, uh, you can go to mashable.com and search for uh, best drone 2014 and you'll find them on there. So um, I guess that's all I have for this, uh, this show. 
Um, hope to uh, expand this show in the coming year with uh, interviews with people and do more demos and, and things of that nature. So hope you stick with me. And I'd love to hear from you. So again, you can contact me on Twitter at DroneGuyTom or uh, at uh, my email, uh, which is uh, DroneGuy at TebWeb.com. And I uh, hope to see you next time.